Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at how to add uh, packages to your Swift application, uh, the iOS app that you have. And basically, we're, we are going to use the Swift application manager. So here is an iOS project. If you look at go to file and then you say add package dependencies, it opens up this window for you where you can add packages, search and add for packages. So let's say we want to add, <coughs> it shows you the Apple Swift packages. You can add another package. So add the package collection or add for a source control. So you can give it a link. So what I'm going to do is let's say I want to add PK Hood. PK Hood. It is a um, Swift uh, package that allows you to, uh, to load these progress screens. You see these progress screens, uh, these ones, or you can have animated ones and so on. So if you scroll down a little bit, you will see that there is a URL that is provided here for uh, if you want to use the Swift package manager. So we we'll go back here. I, in the search box here, I put the, the URL and it shows me the pick a hood. I just add the package and it's going to add the package. It will download the package, fetch the package and add it in, integrated into your project. So let's see once the project, the package is added. You can add multiple packages, of course, right? Add package. Here it is. <coughs> it's added. Here it is that. And basically, you can also look at what packages are added by looking at, uh, let's say, it's somewhere here. Let's say we pick this package dependencies. If we click project, these are the package dependencies. You can add one also from here. If you click on the plus sign or you go to file, add package dependencies. So basically, and you can remove one. You just pick it, click the minus sign, it gets removed. Now, how do we use it? So let's go here. Now, if you look at the uh, this library, there is a there is a pick a hood, for example, and there is an, a demo that we can use just to get an idea of how to use the package. Let's say this is the demo view controller, and basically, uh, it you you just import it like this, and then you could do show and hide and so on. <coughs> okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to, let's say I'm going to use the flash one and something like this. All right. So let's try. So what I'm going to do is here it is. And you say import, uh, import uh, PK hood. This imports the library. Let's look at the layout. I just want when I click on the button, I want it to show the PK hood. Okay. So now let's wait a little bit. It's loading something here. Click on the plus sign. I don't want a button. Just when I click on the button, I want to show that pick a hood. So here's that. Something is being uh, loaded in my uh, app. So let's wait a little bit. But anyhow, I'd like whenever I um, whenever I run the uh, the application, uh, there will be a button here. I click on it. I want to show the pick a hood. So now um, the the hood the, the this progress dialog right that shows me that something is happening. All right. So go here. Add some constraints. Let's go here. Add two constraints. And I'll call it, for example, uh, click me. All right, so we go here, go get assistant, you click on the button, and that triggers something. All right, here we are. And now I just want to show it. So in order to show it, you do hood dot flash icon, and I'm going to do something like this. Uh, dot say. Um, what did it say? Uh, I'll copy this one. All right, so you could do something like this. All right, so let's close this guy. Go back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, dot flash and <coughs> all right, so dot labeled progress. And or maybe success progress or label progress, and I'm just going to put a title. Let's say, for example, um, fetching data, and then the subtitle maybe please wait or something. Please wait. Right now, when I click on the button, uh, let's say when I click on the button, I want to dismiss it. So when the app first starts, I'm going to do this uh, view did appear. And I'm going to do this. And then here I'm going to do hood.dismiss. This is to dismiss. When you click or hide. Hide is how you dismiss it. So basically when you click it, when it starts, the um, the hood is going to uh, show. And then after that, we're just going to make it dismiss. So this is an example to show you. There is a library that we could use that allow us to um, to show a pick hood or this, this progress dialog, right? So which is this library. 
So now I added it by just getting the GitHub uh, uh, repo uh, link to it and then added it. So okay, so you can see here it's an implementation of the Apple Hood volume control and so on. So if you go here, it will run and it will show the progress dialog and that's it. So now let's say I want to add another library. All you have to do is just get the URL and add it. So I'll, I'll add another library. Let's see here it is. And when the app runs, you should be able to see uh, the pick your hood happening. So let's run it again. Okay. And it will show the progress there. Here it is that. Okay. Here it is. And let's see. So on uh, appear, I don't see it showing up. Just want to make sure I don't see my button here. Is, did you see fetch me? Here's that. But it, it said flash. So that that's not the right one to use. I want uh, another one. So basically, there's a show, I think. So uh, hood dot show, and you could say also the content and give it this content here. So flash will, will appear for a specific period of time, and show will just show it. So let's run this again. Yeah, and you need to read the library, figure out what the library. See here, it's fetching data. Now I can't click the button because <laughs> it's pretty messed up. Because once you click, once it shows, I cannot click anywhere. So I'm going to swap the rules here where when it starts, uh, when it will, uh, uh, when you click, it shows and then maybe I can wait for some time and display it, but oh, it will only show when I, uh, when I, when I click the button. So here it is, here is I click the button and it shows. I can have a timed here, put some kind of, use the, uh, use the uh, Grand Central or the dispatch uh, system to delay and then display, d dismiss it and so on. But anyway, this is just to show you how you can show, uh, uh, integrate a library and how you can use it. Can I add other libraries? Yes, there is another library, very interesting one called Kingfisher, uh, Kingfisher uh, Swift. And uh, that library is a library that allows you to load URL images from uh, the internet. So uh, you just provide it a URL and image view and it loads the image view uh, into the URL. So now you see here for the package manager, you just need this URL. Here is the URL for the Swift package manager. Go back here. And basically uh, to add one, you just go and say file, uh, package dependencies. And similarly, I'm just going to paste the URL and it shows me Kingfisher. Here it is, add package. And basically it's going to fetch the package, integrate it into your project and you're good to go. Now to show you this, let's say we go to... Um, I want uh, the pixel, let's say uh, pixel, or uh, let's say we pick w some URL. So let's say we look for um, uh, uh, pixels, pixels.com, and we look for an, some, some URL. Let's say we look for an Android, all right? Some Android or maybe uh, Apple, all right? Here's an Apple, and here it is. Now I can, um, more info. It's too big, but it's really, really big images. Maybe I can pick a smaller image. Let's say I go to uh, Apple logo, all right, something like that. Apple logo uh, PNG. So you go here, here is an Apple logo. Maybe we can get it from Wikipedia or something. Here is an Apple logo, uh, but this is an SVG. I don't know if it's gonna work with SVG. I think it would work with SVG, so, but anyway, I want it as a PNG. But anyway, I need, I need a URL to show you that I'm able to load these images. So let's try the SVG. <coughs> Here's a PNG of the Apple logo, and there are so many of them. Okay, here is a SVG. So many Apple logos, right? So I can say Apple phone. Pick one. Here's Wikipedia. Here's that. Or we could go to. Um, let's try. Um, I'll try this URL. So basically, the, where is the URL for this guy? I copy. Here is the copy the URL. Here is uh, here is the URL for it. Here is that. And now in order to use it at the package, the package is added. Now I need an, uh, let's say we go here and I'm going to add an image view. Okay, here is the image view. Here's an image view. I go in, add the image view here. And let's say we add the image view to occupy the space here. And of course you need to set up the aspect ratio and so on, but I'm not going to do that. Here's that, here's this and add constraint. And maybe I can set up the, let's say the image, uh, the uh, height and width or aspect ratio. Here we are. But anyway, so this is the image view. Drag drop here, my image view. All right, here is the image view. I added it to my code. Now you see what happens is that I just say import K 
Kingfisher. Now, if you go to the library, you know, all these libraries, they have uh, documentation, right? So exactly here. And there is the installation guide, there is usage guide, and so on. But to use it, it should be very simple. You see here, it shows you a couple of lines. In order to use it, just a couple of lines. All you have to do is just get the URL where the image is, set the image view KF. So it adds an extension to that class, to the image view class. So you see here, uh, you see there is self.imageView, the one we added, dot KF. You see here, there is this Kingfisher, KF, which is Kingfisher extension. And then you add whatever. So basically, it gives you a lot an extension. So basically, I'm gonna get a URL, and then image view dot set uh, kf to that URL. And they have an example image. I don't know what that example image is, but I can get the image that we were looking at in a little bit. So the image that we were looking at was this SVG. Let's see if it loads SVG. I think it would. Let's see. We put the image here, and run it. So basically, when the app is about to appear, it should load the image. All right. So wait. It's very straightforward. You just have a URL. It does a lot of things, by the way. So it opens a socket, receives the data, and it might not be able to load SVGs. I am not sure. So let's look for another logo. Apple logo PNG URL is that. So now I just need a URL for it. Okay, free PNGs. All right, here is that. Open image in new tab. So here's the image URL. Okay, I have the image URL now. I go back, I paste it here. And we run it again. Let's run this again. And here we are. And here's the image. All right, so you see here the image is coming in from the web. Very straightforward, very simple library. And you could see that in this screencast, we showed you that how to add libraries to your project. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.